we start with one hour chart. We want to see how we can look for trade right now. We're looking at this correction. We want to see whether we can get the trade set up for buy or not. Any trade for buy is a short term trade. That's why we want to see the breakout of 6.03 following by 6.14. We want to see whether the price can break this soon or not. Okay. That's mean if we get any trade set up for buy, we'll take it and we need to see the continuation as a sharp move. If it turns to a corrective move, we are not going to keep the trade. All right. And the reason is we want to see the breakout of this one. If there is a continuation, it's good for us. If not, in the bigger picture, we can get one move up flat. Most, as I mentioned, most of the chart, even on my other analysis, they have a similar movement. Then from there, the price can drop. And if the price drop, the next zone, we, I mean, after the price drop, we can expect, still, we can expect the price drop to any, between somewhere between 5.6 by 5.4. Okay. In this case, we move to daily chart. We want to see how we can look at the chart. Based on daily, still we're looking at this move as a correction relative to this. We want to see whether we can get the reversal or not. And if I move to forward chart, based on forward chart, I'm looking at this move, right? That's why I mentioned we can expect the price drop to 5.6 between and 5.4 because at that time, we can see the breakout of the lowest price of this correction. Then any reversal from there, we can look for trade, all right? From now, we're looking for buying based on even lower time frame, but as I mentioned, it can be a short-term trade because from what I can see based on forward chart, we can get one move up. This one turned to a bigger correction, the price drop, because if we want, we want to look at this move and technically we can expect internal flat in relative to the first correction, the price drop before we get then to reversal. This is the best we can look for if we get, all right? And in this case, if we move to one hour chart, and right now we want to see if we get any trade set up for buy, we take it and we try to manage it when the price reaches this zone. And if the price drop from here, we just let it go. Okay. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thank